What I said at the beginning of practice was we want to talk about alchemy, right? August. Put that ice on your elbow and just pay attention. We're going to talk about alchemy. Who knows what alchemy is? Yes. Yes. We transform the gold. Alchemy. Alchemy's been around for 8,000 years. Alchemy was the precursor to chemistry. It was the first science. And alchemists were, were like scientists and chemists that believed you could take substances like lead and you could apply some kind of a compound or something to it, some kind of catalyst. A catalyst is something that converts something into gold. Right? And they believed that. And they were searching constantly for this substance that was going to be the transformative substance that was going to take lead into gold. Now here's the extra credit question. Does anybody know what that substance, what they called that substance? I guarantee you've heard the word. Guarantee it. Because it's a word in the Harry Potter stories. It's a substance called the Philosopher's Stone. Have you ever heard of the Philosopher's Stone? No, the Philosopher, they believe that this Philosopher's Stone, they could find this Philosopher's Stone that would take lead and turn it into gold. And they looked everywhere for it, and they were just a little bit off. Because they believe in this physical concept of taking lead and turning it into gold. But if you think in a bigger picture, in a, in a bigger picture, something transformational can take something bad and make it good. Or take something that's okay and make it better. Or take something that's better and make it great. And my secret to you, and I'm going to share with you tonight, is I know what the Philosopher's Stone is. the most transformative thing you'll ever experience in your whole life. And it works. The second you cross this line, and you step into this ring, and you become a wrestler, and you train as a wrestler, you are taking yourself from something less ordered to something more ordered, to something that's lead and into something that's gold. I promise you that. You keep working at it. That's what the Philosopher's Stone does. That's what wrestling does. It's a transformational force in your life and other people's lives. Believe it. And every time you walk in this room, there's an opportunity for transformation. Now here's the next lesson for the night. Does anybody know any Latin? Latin? Oh, all right. Can you, do you know what the term insterpolor infinitus means? In Sturtlor Infinitus. Anybody? Oh, come on. Is anybody read Latin? You can learn that one. You can say hi. It means, it means the cave that you fear holds the treasure that you want. In other words, what you want most will be found in the places where you least want to look. The story of going down into the cave to get the gold, to get the treasure, has been throughout the history of language through the history of mankind. Think about going down the, the stories of fighting the dragon to get the gold, right? The dragon guards the gold. How about King Arthur's Court? Has anybody read about King Arthur's Court? When he tells all his knights at the round table, go find the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail was supposed to be the most important thing, the elixir of life, the best thing anyone could ever find. And he sends his knights out to go find that. And where does he tell the knights to go look? darkest, most dangerous forests. Because that's where the treasure sits. That's where the treasure sits. And as an athlete and a wrestler, if you want to get the treasure, you got to dig deep into your heart, into your soul, into your gut to get what you want. To go places that you're afraid to go to. So on this week, as you're preparing for your state championship, I want you to think about what your caves are. Where do you need to go the deepest and the hardest to get what you want? Do you got a couple of pounds you got to cut? Do you have, have you drawn the top seed in your weight class? Your nemesis? Somebody maybe you haven't beaten before? Are you in a tight bout? 
and you feel like you got nothing left, and you're down by a point in overtime and you need to score a takedown, that's one of your caves. You dig into it as deep and as hard as you can. I promise you, you'll get what you want. I'll also tell you that there is nobody more prepared to go into that cave than you. We have been digging and digging and digging for this whole season. You have put hours and hours of sweat and blood and tears into this practice room. It's all coming to this weekend. There is nobody in that gym that is more equipped to go down to that cave and get what you want. And when they go down with you, they're not gonna wanna be with you. Because you got the gas tank, you got the desire, you got the coaching, and you're ready to go. So everything you've done is already in place. Now all we need to do is get some rest. It's important for you to get the right amount of rest. Put the right things in the fuel tank. Be thinking positive thoughts. Be comfortable with going down into that cave. Be comfortable with it. That's where the treasure is. In the hardest, most battle-tested part of that match. That's where the gold is. And you can get it. Lean into it. We are so proud to coach you and see you on the mats. Every one of our coaches, all of our parents, we love you. We care about you. We know you can do it. It's up to you. Great night. Get some rest. Get a shower. We'll see you on Thursday. In Sturkelor and Vinitus. Everybody say, Sturkelor and Vinitus. In Sturkelor and Vinitus. In Sturkelor and Vinitus. Who holds you down? No one. What are we on our feet? Relentless. Who owns the third period? We do. What's your favorite period? Overtime. On three PWC. One, two, three PWC. All right. In Sturkelor and Vinitus. In Sturkelor and Vinitus.